everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today, we're gonna make a sweet treat that's easy to make and easy to give and even easier to enjoy. Today, we're gonna be making this delicious Jingle Bell Bark because every year I make a different kind of Christmas like chocolate bark and this one is no exception. This is gonna be a delicious combination of white chocolate, salted pistachios, dried cherries, and vanilla wafers. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Continuing on with our Christmas in July celebration, we're gonna be making a candy bark because it ain't the holidays without a candy bark. This is one of the easiest things that you can make. You don't have to put a lot of thought into it and the way I make it is super easy. So this we're calling Jingle Bell Bark but I have to tell you, I almost called it Ron Burgundy Bark because it's like super classy. And if you get that, you get that. And if you don't, I'm sorry. Go watch Anchorman. Anyway, we're gonna start off by using some white baking chocolate. And I like to use the premium kind and I like to use the kind in bars. Almond bark isn't really chocolate. Uh, it's cheap and the quality of the final product reflects that. So if you're gonna make this to give us gifts, pop for a little something extra. I'm using the Ghirardelli white chocolate premium baking bar and it's as simple as unwrapping them and putting them on a lined baking sheet. Now I have mine lined with some non-stick aluminum foil. If you don't have that, you could just use parchment. You can just spray it with a little vegetable oil spray, but you wanna do a little something here. It's gonna release once it puts in, you put it in the refrigerator. Um, you just want to kinda of hedge your bets. So I have four of these baking bars and I'm going to pop that baking sheet in the oven at 200 degrees for just about five minutes. We just wanna melt the chocolate. The white chocolate's gonna melt a lot faster than milk or dark chocolate. And at this point, you can choose what kind of chocolate you like. Do you like white chocolate? Do you like dark chocolate? Do you like milk chocolate? The baking chocolate comes in all forms. And if you don't wanna use the baking chocolate, you can use the good stuff that you go buy in the candy aisle that you know either uh, Ghirardelli or Lindt or whatever is your favorite brand and you can just unwrap them line the bars up right here or I have in the past done a checkerboard bark where I used this baking chocolate but I used this and milk chocolate and I alternated the squares popped it in the oven and then we take it out when it's melty and we swirl it with a spatula we're going to do that in just a minute but I'm gonna pop this in the oven for just a few minutes until it gets melty and then we'll be back and we're going to uh, dress it with our classy fillings. We've got about a cup of mini vanilla wafers and I just am using one of these little tubs that you get at the checkout stand. A cup or so of dried cherries. A cup or so of shelled salted pistachios. Now I bought a bag of pistachios that were already shelled but if you have pistachios at home, we always do um, have pistachios. We usually keep them in a big jar. Uh, you can go ahead and shell about a cup's worth, but I ain't got time for that. So I was happy to pay a little extra to buy them in the bag already done like that for me. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven and we'll be right back. Okay, our chocolate bars have been in the oven at 200 degrees for less than five minutes. Honestly, you wanna check them, um, but watch what happens. Look at you guys. It's totally melted and it doesn't take very long at all. So this is when you wanna get your spatula out and you wanna kind of just smooth this out. Remember, bark is not supposed to be like super thick. Bark is supposed to be, bark is supposed to break easily and eat easily. And now this is where you get to be the artist of your own masterpiece. Today I'm using salted pistachios and these are the kind of dried cherries that you can get from Sam's Club. They just sell them in a big bag and they're not very expensive at all. What I will say here is just be really careful that you're not like dropping a whole cluster of like three cherries in one spot because you want this to break up nice and you want an even distribution. And I have set out a cup each of this, these toppings, but you may not use that many. 
So just keep that in mind. You want to have enough to go around, but you don't want to run short. So I'm going to stick some of these cookies in here. Wait. Now I'll show you. I probably used about a half a cup of pistachios and probably about the same amount, maybe a little bit more of cherries. This may differ when you make yours, but I did use the entire container of cookies. You can haphazardly scatter or you can simply take your time and build a beautiful masterpiece. It's up to you. The one thing I will say is when you're done placing all of your toppings, I'm gonna tell you to just take a little piece of parchment and give everything a gentle pat because we want everything to have good contact with that chocolate. Otherwise, the, the toppings are gonna fall off. And then leave that parchment paper right there Pop this in your refrigerator for about 30 minutes, and then you'll have beautiful Jingle Bell Bark, or Ron Burgundy Bark, as the case may be. So I'll be back when it's time to show you what this looks like after it's all hardened up. All right, our bark has been in the refrigerator. It's been in there for about an hour because we were doing some other things, but I just wanted to show you. It's perfectly set and it's ready to be broken. And all you have to do is, you know, you can drop it or you can, just simply start breaking it into pieces. And they don't have to be large because this is just gonna be a nice little nosh. It's great to take this to a party or a potluck. And this is just gonna, this is, people are gonna love this. This is gonna be great packaged up in little cellophane bags or however you wanna do it. Well, there you have it. Our Jingle Bell Bark or our Ron Burgundy Bark because it's super classy. Uh, it's all done. It was in the refrigerator for about an hour. It is perfectly set and ready to give. I went ahead and dug out a little Christmas tin just to be festive. And we're gonna be keeping this in the refrigerator since it's scorching hot outside. But when Christmas rolls around, you probably won't need to do that. So that's how you make it. It's super easy. And bark is just, everyone loves it. but. You know what, go ahead and pop for the better chocolate because it's gonna make your bark all that much better. Are you ready to taste this? I have to. You do. I've already tasted it and I think it's spectacular. It hits all the notes. I concur. Sweet, salty, tangy, mm. crunchy, smooth. It's just all the things and it's perfectly delicious. It is. Right? It's super yeah. satisfying. You only need a little piece to make you happy. Mm -hmm. So you can make this, keep it in your fridge, and then just reach for it whenever you have a need for a little sweet nosh. But it's even better when you share it. So I hope you give this Jingle Bell Bark a try sometime soon, and I hope you love it. And until next time, stay classy, San Diego.